Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. What steps do new sole proprietorships usually need to take before they can open? When considering starting a sole proprietorship, the first crucial step is to choose a business name. This name can either be your full legal name or a separate business name, also known as a doing business as DBA name. If you opt for a DBA, you will need to register it with your state or local government, as the requirements for DBA registration vary by state. Once you have decided on a business name, you should check the availability of the name with the United States Patent and Trademark Office, USPTO, and ensure it is not already in use by another business in your jurisdiction. The next step involves purchasing and registering a domain name for your business website. This domain name should ideally match your business name to avoid confusion and to establish a strong online presence. Applying for an employer identification number, EIN, from the IRS is also a significant step, although it is not mandatory for sole proprietors unless they have employees or pay excise taxes. An EIN is useful for hiring employees, opening business bank accounts, and applying for business credit or loans. Obtaining the necessary business licenses and permits is another critical step. These requirements vary depending on the type of business and the location. For example, businesses that prepare or serve food may need a health department permit, while businesses that sell products subject to sales tax may need a seller's permit. Insurance coverage is also essential for sole proprietors as it helps protect personal assets from business liabilities. Types of insurance to consider include general liability insurance, property insurance, and other forms of insurance relevant to the specific business activities. Finally, opening a business bank account is highly recommended to keep business finances separate from personal finances. This helps in streamlining accounting activities, accepting credit card payments, and establishing business credit. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.